And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With highs only in the lower 60s, today was our coolest day in over a month. And high temperatures are going to remain below normal for at least the next week. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Our normal high is 78. We're going to be close to it tomorrow and then we will see highs mainly in the lower to mid 70s as we move through the rest of the work week through the weekend and into early next week. Right now temperatures are running well below our normal high of 78. It is only 58 in Manitowoc. We've got 56 in Sheboygan and we're looking at 59 degrees in Oshkosh. The high temperature today was 63. That is the normal high temperature for October 2nd. So yes, certainly a taste of fall across northeast Wisconsin this afternoon. Right now in the valley, we are looking at mostly cloudy conditions. It is only 57 in Green Bay. It is 58. We've had some on and off rain showers over the last hour or so. And as you take a look at Storm Shield radar, you can see we continue to see scattered showers at times and Briefly, they've been heavy. You can see that activity is now dropping off towards the south and east. So some heavy showers, but no thunderstorms being reported across northeast Wisconsin today. It's been a different story, however, across the northwestern part of Wisconsin, where we have an upper level system now working in from the north. And that system will slowly cross northern Wisconsin throughout the night, still be close enough tomorrow that areas north and east of Green Bay could still see an isolated shower. But overall, the wet weather we've been seeing is going to pull off towards the east as we head through tomorrow. High pressure is going to build in. That means lots of sunshine. And on the western side of that high pressure system, we're watching a warm front. And on the the other side of that warm front today, it was feeling like summer. Temperatures were in the 80s and 90s, and the heat you see right there across Wyoming and Montana and Idaho is going to stay put. It is not headed in our direction. In fact, we're not going to see temperatures that warm for at least the next eight or nine days. Tomorrow, we will see a warm up, however. Temperatures will be running about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what we saw this afternoon, with most of us getting into the mid and upper 70s. Skycast shows lots of sunshine tomorrow morning as that last little disturbance kind of moves across the area tomorrow afternoon. Just a slight chance for an isolated shower. Quiet weather tomorrow night, and then Wednesday, we'll see sunshine give way to a pretty good chance for showers and thunderstorms as we move through the afternoon as our next weather maker approaches from the west. And some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side. The Storm Prediction Center has most of Wisconsin under either a marginal threat or a slight threat for organized severe weather. So that's something we'll be watching. Tonight, showers ending and cool. Overnight lows will be in the 40s. No need for the AC tonight. Some of you may need the heat. 77 tomorrow, sun and high clouds, so obviously much warmer. We're going to see sunshine during in the morning and then high clouds in the afternoon. Once again, a very slight chance for a shower north and east of Green Bay as we move into the afternoon. A much better chance for rain and thunderstorms on Wednesday. Lower 70s and then falling into the 60s once the rain moves in. Some lingering showers, especially early Thursday, then mostly cloudy mid 70s. A good chance for rain and thunderstorms on Friday. High temperatures will be in the lower 70s and then a mixture of sun and clouds over the weekend. Just a chance for a shower and a thunderstorm each day and then a better chance for thunderstorms as we head into uh, early next week. Monday, of course, is July 3rd. Well, I'm hoping, Cameron, that you are able to tweak this forecast before we get into the holiday weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday looking okay at this point. Mm -hmm. Monday, I know we've got a lot of fireworks displays. We could have some issues. We'll just have to wait and see. Usually the fireworks displays are A-OK. -okay. Everything's out of here by then. So. We usually get lucky. We do. <laughs> All right, thanks, Cameron. Yeah. Well,